Hi Pinkvilla, this is Pooja Gaur and today I am getting ready for the promotions of my new series which is called Guns and Gulabs. So yeah, get ready with me. So um, the first step to getting ready is obviously skincare because the makeup will look good if your skin is good and your skin is good because you have a good skincare routine in place. So I have a combination skin, you know, in, inclining more on the on the oily side because I have an extremely oily T-zone. Um, so yeah, I have combination products customized for my skin type and I will take you through all of those products. Now before I do anything to my face, I did two things which was clean my face with a cleanser, with a very mild cleanser, uh, with a Bioderma cleanser. It's a product that suits my skin. And uh, then because um, I had not slept enough yesterday, so I felt like when I woke up, my face was uh, slightly puffy. So I took like a cube of ice and wrapped it in a hand key and then like kind of uh, used it all across my face. So hope, there is no swelling or at least less swelling okay so now the very first step of my skincare after all of that is using a vitamin c serum this is a, a vitamin c serum from dr shades i absolutely love this i have just recently started using it and uh, it's been you know reacting well to my skin and uh, yeah take like a couple of drops quickly shut the bottle so that it doesn't oxidize and just gently pat it all across your clean skin before applying anything else and then you have to let it dry a little bit Ten, fifteen seconds is good enough okay now the second product that I Love and I absolutely, it is my favorite product in the whole skincare routine is a hyaluronic acid. This is a hyaluronic acid by Norden Mosse. I don't know if this is available in India. Uh, this is a Spanish brand. So I take a few drops and yeah, I have one tip which uh, I believe most of us make a mistake with is that whenever we use these dropper uh, serums, you know, we take it and like directly put it on our skin and we touch the dropper to our skin which basically infects your uh, dropper and the rest of your serum so yeah rather than that you can take it in your palm or the back of your hand and press it not do that much and just gently press it onto your skin I love hyaluronic acid more than anything else uh, because it makes your skin instantly plump and a plump skin will look healthier you know and it will uh, your makeup will last better so yeah hyaluronic acid and of course everything that you use you use on your neck and slightly on your chest as well because this is also where you see the color difference whenever uh, you know you get tanned or whenever you get dry skin or whatever so you have to take your skincare all the way to your upper chest area now because I did not sleep well last night <laughs> I kind of want to be extra sure that uh, I'm not looking puffy and, uh, and my eyes are not looking so uh, sunken in the hollows of my eyes so I'm taking a caffeine serum this is a serum from the ordinary and I take about two drops, not much, because I just need to use it around my eyes. They say that you uh, must use your ring finger whenever you're kind of massaging or putting a cream under your eyes because it is a very thin skin thin area and the ring finger has the least amount of pressure so but yeah okay now once the caffeine is set you let it dry a little 
which is actually really important. Our skincare routine these days have has become multi-layered. Um, today we have multiple steps and we kind of keep layering different products and uh, hence we need to kind of give each product slight amount of time to get absorbed into your skin otherwise it will start pilling. And then I will take um, eye cream obviously because you need to hydrate your under eye. This is uh, ginseng eye cream from this brand, Korean brand called I am From. I like it. It's very luxurious in its feel. It's nice and thick. Little goes a long way. So this bottle can last you almost like a year. Always move it upwards, inwards to outwards and do it gently so that your skin is not getting pulled upwards, always, always. All skincare needs to go upwards, upwards. And now, everything needs to be sealed with a moisturizer. This is my favorite, favorite, all time favorite moisturizer. It's the Moisture Surge by Clinique and I must have emptied tubs and tubs of this over years, ever since I kind of got to know or got introduced to this moisturizer. So yeah, this is absolutely beautiful and this one is a 100 hour auto replenish version of it. So nice and gentle on the forehead, you massage it like that. So you get rid of all the lines or whatever is supposedly going to form or is forming. You massage it a little bit like that. Neck, always, and chest. And then, like a lot of people use Gua Sha and the Jade Roller or like, you know, different rollers and uh, tools, but I'm too lazy for all of that. I do have them, I just don't use them. Just use these knuckles and just do that. It does a similar job. I mean, it helps with the lymphatic drainage as well. Whenever you're free, you can just take some nice face oil and just do that. It temporarily helps, but like when you make it a habit, that is with uh, the skincare. Oh, the last and the most important step of skincare is sunscreen. How can you forget sunscreen? So yeah, this is um, a sunscreen that I've recently started using. It's called uh, Radiance Dewy Sunscreen from Aqualogica. It's quite nice. It's very light and it's dewy. Um, so it's like, gives you that nice and natural glow. I know people say you, you, sh you need to take two fingers worth of sunscreen, but I kind of feel like andaze pe I take like, three pumps, four pumps and uh, just apply it all over. Need to remember to apply it on your eyelids as well, we forget that. Ah, kampar gaya. Slightly more, again, all your skincare goes on your neck and your chest as well because we forget it and see our chest and our neck get age signs and tan lines so again very important so this is it for the skincare part and now let's move on to the makeup now my makeup uh, i am a lazy person <laughs> i don't like to sit in the makeup chair for too long as well when when my makeup artist is doing my makeup and especially when i'm doing my makeup i kind of do it really really fast um, but today I'm not going to do that because I need my makeup to last uh, the whole day because I'm running around town uh, for different different promotional activities. So yeah, um, this is a lip balm, it's a lip tint which is uh, from Bobbi Brown and uh, this gives you that just the right amount of tint and moisture before you have to apply your lipstick. So till the time you come to the end of your um, makeup routine your lips are nice and plump. Yes, the first step in the makeup routine is uh, of course the primer. Primer is the most essential part to 
keep your makeup in place and hold it in place otherwise oily people like me are my my makeup starts kind of coming off because of uh, all the oil so i use um this which really helps with my open pores and it kind of holds my makeup yet it plumps my skin it's called uh, plump right back with electrolytes uh it's by nyx so i really i really really like this serum it's very light it's gel like and just take a little bit put it all over your face neck as well always and give it some time okay now i have two foundation shades with me right now one is from bobby brown which is like full cover all day foundation and one is from too faced which is uh, called born this way matte both of them are matte because as i said my skin is very oily i need to kind of keep it matte um i have them in different shades because i keep getting tanned a lot and then of course i use products like vitamin c and niacinamide to come you know get rid of the tan and all of that but then i have to buy a darker shade as in when i get tanned and i found a very nice trick to be able to use the the foundation which is sort of like darker for you as well or rather li lighter when you are a lighter shade is that you can use the darker foundation uh, around the edge of your face so all of this here here so it gives you a natural contouring and then you can use the lighter shade in the inner corner of your like like the inside the center of your face which is like the crown area the t zone area and this much so it you don't need to do much of contouring so yeah let's use the darker one first just a little bit not too much see it's too warm and too yellow for my current skin I don't like to blend my foundation with uh, a beauty blender because I feel like beauty blender I do have a beauty blender but I I very rarely use it because uh, I feel like every beauty blender or a sponge that you use it absorbs way too much product and there's a lot of product wastage that happens and that hurts <laughs> because all these products are you know kind of expensive and i rather not waste these products so i use it either with my hands which is the best and if not hands then you know just blend it with a really nice buffing brush um yeah so now we go in with a lighter shade just tap it i have not forgotten my neck i shall do it very soon I just need to get my face shade right. I don't like foundation which is very pigmented. So whenever I get all these foundations, I kind of take very little of them or kind of dilute it with um some moisturizer or some serum because for me as i always mention it, my my on my face i feel like even this much makeup looks like a lot so little goes a long way now the next thing that i would like to do is use a blush not a concealer blush and this blush is uh, by pixi It's called on the go blush. It is the best thing ever. I mean, this one and Benetint are two blushes that you can use it on your naked skin also, and it it's just it looks amazing. And uh, the one tip that I have learned from uh, you know several uh, you know people that I have worked with, rather makeup artists that I've worked with, one of them taught me a really really good thing. Never. use your blush or put your blush with with a smile you know how they say smile and then we do that with our brush or like we do that don't do that because most of the times whenever we are out we are not smiling we are not always 
so <laughs> we are just normally talking right so when our face is normal that is when your blush needs to look right so the placement needs to happen when you're not smiling and yes one more thing you need to apply it on the highest part of your cheekbones like i am i do not have those rounded cheek cheeks or like high cheekbones like how um like Karina Kapoor has those cheeks I don't have them so I have to find the highest part and I have to just place it like that not here higher because then it gives you that lifted look and this is a dewy blush so you just put it like that and don't be afraid to use a little more even if you do use a little more there's going to be powder on top of it and generally your skin drinks all the makeup yes blush is done now we do just slight bit of contouring this is um, tantor contour and bronzer cream by huda beauty i mean i've used a lot but it's still a lot left inside so that's how little i use and of course these products really last a long time so you take the contouring and i make sure that it's not too dark it's quite closer to my skin it needs to give you that shadow effect and not like a color difference where you see that there's a like a red or a brown color that's visible we don't need to take much because as we did the darker tone foundation this much is enough just here don't go too much inside because then we will not get that lifted effect just slightly right above your cheeks and contour my nose with whatever remaining contouring is there on this brush so yeah there done with the contouring now i'm not going to use any highlighter because my face is anyway very oily and i don't want it to look uh oily or shining further because that does not look good on the camera it looks great on pictures but not on the video camera yes before i forget i need to take slight amount of foundation put it on my neck so that my neck does not look uh a different shade from my face because that looks really bad and one more thing we we'll need to uh, remember whenever we are doing any kind of skin care or makeup you have to blend everything in the direction of your uh, skin scaling or like your your hair so whenever you are doing blending a foundation you blend it downwards because your hair is downwards if you blend it up the the it it looks weird you will you will see what i mean try it once like that way and with neck because it's always like that you blend it that way and then just tap that tap oh yeah i forgot the concealer totally <laughs> this is a concealer um from bobby brown i forgot because i generally am so lazy i kind of feel like a little bit of foundation will work um but yeah today i need it this is bobby brown um it's in the shade natural just a little bit not too much just a little bit towards the end here also also and a little bit on your eyelids <laughs> take it into the inner corners of your eyes also so that that shadow thing goes away i think one of the very important things that we need to um take care of is invest in good brushes as well because if your brushes are good uh they can do wonders with how your makeup can look if you are of course comfortable just doing the whole makeup with your fingers it's the best because your makeup will look the best if you've done it with your hands 
but if not invest in some good brushes and clean them very well okay now to blend it all perfectly take the beauty blender this is where i use my beauty blender when i want to absorb the excess makeup so i just take it and just dab 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 on my whole face okay yeah good i like it now let's bake the face so of course the the powder or the compact needs to be a mac studio fix because it is the best now for the second last step um i do have an eye shadow palette i love k beauty i am a huge fan of k beauty it's really good makeup in affordable prices so you know props to katrina kaif and her brand i don't want to do something fancy i just want to keep it natural so i'm just going to take a blush this is also from bobby brown this is in shade tawny i'll just take this peachy pink color just take a little and apply it on my eyelids it's not working this is better when i have to do an eyeliner or when i have to do anything else on the opposite side of my right hand like my left eye it's just always so tricky is it the same i've lost perspective anymore just blend it and yeah done and now mascara where is it yeah k beauty <laughs> this is not sponsored at all i'm just a huge fan it's so weird every time you're doing a mascara our face is always like Oh, I forgot to curl my lashes, but that's okay. What is done is done, and lengthen the corners. Yeah, that's it. I feel like we should be using water-resistant mascara rather than waterproof because then it comes off easily as well. Like not just with a splash of water. And now for the last part, eyebrows. <laughs> So this is like a double sided brush which is like an angular brush and a spoolie and you comb your hair like that and I don't do much because I don't think I need it I anyway have good bushy eyebrows just take a again key beauty little bit um, and I have like this gap that uh, one of my parlor didi kind of wrecked it and it doesn't grow now anymore so I have to keep filling it every time Where I can't see. And I have this uh sort of like a spot since childhood. I feel like every time I make a pony, this is this is that whole mini mouse thing uh happens, but then there's like a spot here. So I just take this, which is like my natural green gray shade and just fill it in. Yes. It's done. Now for the last part. Again, a peach girl needs a peach lipstick. This is uh, yeah, this is again Bobbi Brown Lux Defining Lipstick which is in shade Water Lily. It's beautiful. You don't need a lip liner with this. It's nice and pointy. And because my lips were moisturized earlier, it's gliding nice and smoothly. and we're almost done the last step is setting your makeup because it needs to last a long day so this is a setting spray it is from nyx which is called dewy finish yeah dewy finish <laughs> so yeah there it is i'm done with my makeup and now i'm going to get uh, ready in the outfit that i'm going to wear today so i'll see you in a bit bye tada 
so this is my outfit for today's promotions it also has gulabs on it you see how committed i am <laughs> so yeah uh, it's a nice easy breezy floral cord set and i absolutely love it i hope you guys enjoyed the get ready with me segment with me today and if you found any uh, useful tips do let me know in the comments and if you have any tips and tricks for me mention those as well keep watching pinkvilla bye